Hello, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 27th of June 2020. Uh, this is take 172, the volume problems. I think I've got them. Who knows? Anyway, this is a look back on my week, week ending Saturday the 27th of I was going to say October, June. It just seems that way. I think it's the weather. There's been quite a lot of weather this week. Anyway, um, so what have I done this week? On Monday, I ended up in Aberdeer, moving kit and patching, and getting a free cup of coffee, which I liked a lot. And um, there was no charge for parking in the car park. I like to help people out. And um, it was good. And there is a lot of traffic on the road. Anyway, um, in the night, it was a WWDC, Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. So I finished slightly early, um, which was unusual in itself, and went to Tesco's. No queue to get in. Um, although there was a queue at the final aisle to get to the tills. And there was a report in the week, actually about Tesco, saying people are doing fewer shops but buying more when they do shop. I'm not surprised. Um, one of the big things is, before all of this, um, oh, I'll just pop in X, Y, or Z on the way home. Frictionless shopping. Now, when you have to queue up, going in, going out, and all that sort of thing, it's you make sure you've got everything. And quite a lot of stuff that you don't actually need there and then, but you might think things are slowly getting better and um, hats off to Aldi as well which Tesco are price matching hmm. anyway the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference pre-recorded which I think from now on will be the way to go I certainly enjoyed it more than the live one um, it was well put together and there was lots of good stuff on there um, and I think the main thing for me was the Mac is moving over to ARM or Apple Silicon as they call it but it's ARM and um, iPad and iPhone apps will just work on there although I think they'll need a little bit of playing around with them to make them work quite well it was really enjoyable um, although Talking about Macs, my Mac, and I'm not sure how long it's been like this, has a sign saying battery service. I think it was all those years running at 100% uh, running the SETI program, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, which ended in March. There must be a lesson there somewhere. Um, I don't even think the Apple Store in Cardiff is open. I don't know if I can afford it. Um, and the Mac is working fine at the moment, the battery is working, so I'm just going to leave it. And the message on it says um, it won't actually cause any problems. So there you go. Um, so let's have a look at some more tech. Text Expander, which is my text expansion program. Works on the Mac, works on Windows, does actually work in Chrome as well. And you can get a keyboard that works in... Um, on iOS which I don't use but it's great if you've never used a text expansion program before there's a mini one built into iOS I'd recommend you do anyway it wasn't working properly with Gmail in iOS iOS no Gmail in Firefox on my desktop PC yeah that version of Firefox anyway some backs and fours and whatever very good service um long story short they've identified the problem they've given me a workaround and their coders their developers are working on it at the moment unlike the issues i'm having with firefox itself um, put a message on bugzilla last sunday saying are you actually going to fix this i really want to support open source software um, but if you don't, um, which is, it locks up all the time, and I know how to get round it, but hey, um, I haven't heard anything back. So in the meantime, I've moved over to Microsoft's Chromium-based Edge, which has some slight issues, but is very nice and works fine. 
doesn't have any problems with text expander and you can also run text expander as an extension um, because it uses the same extensions as Chrome itself. Thank you Mozilla, you're not doing very well. Anyway, um, in the week, uh, I think it was Wednesday and Thursday, the hottest days of the year up into the, well, the early 30s, 28 is 82. So it was hotter than that. And of course, we have no fans in the office because they're dangerous. And we might get an air conditioning unit per floor sometime in July. It was really melty. And because of that, I popped round to Bragdi Tut Lol, the little laughs, the little chuckle brewery on the Tree Forest Industrial Estate. And I bought some beers. This is my breakfast beer of the day, Blueberry. Uh, it's in English and it's in Welsh and it has blueberries in it. And it's bitter and sweet and fruity and it's a B++. Support your local brewer. Um, of course, the pubs are open in England from the 4th and I think in Scotland from the 15th. Um, based on what we've seen on certain beaches, both in England and Wales, I think it's going to be chaotic. So my plan, not going back to any pubs at least until two weeks after they open. Um, that's in Wales and we have no date for that at the moment. It's looking like a quality plan. Mind you, having said that, what with the football being back and Liverpool winning the Premiership, that got all a bit crazy, um, both in reality and virtually. My timeline in Twitter and Facebook went, well, they exploded. Anyway, the shout out for the week. Um, your local brewers, your local posties. Thank you for the Saturday post. Um, who else? Um, bin people. Actually, everyone who's still working, NHS, of course, um, the emergency services, because they haven't had it easy, and um, Amazon delivery drivers. I have been waiting for a office chair. At the moment, I'm sitting on, um, well, I don't know, it's like a getting dressed stool sort of thing, and it's white and fluffy. And I really need a proper chair. And it's finally come back into stock in Amazon and it's going to be delivered tomorrow. So not only is it there, but it's on a day that I can collect it or get it delivered. That's really good. Uh, as I said, baby steps. Talking of baby steps, my Red Duke of Yorks. They are first early potatoes and the foliage is now beginning to turn yellow, which means they are done. Not all of it is yellow yet. I'm going to wait until it all turns yellow. And then there will be chips made from potatoes grown in the garden. Talking of the garden, looking out the window, um, there has been a lot of rain overnight. Thank you for that. That means no watering can. And as I'm on a watering, watering meter, a water meter, that's good. And I think we're going to have more rain. Although the sun was out earlier on. It's the typical British summer. Rain stop play and then sunniness plus. But what can you do? <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for the Saturday wrap. Weekending Saturday the 27th of June 2020. Bye bye.